Day, any kind of thing where you want some hearty appetizers that you can make ahead of time and they'll, they'll stay warm, you know, until your friends are ready to eat them. Plus, they are delicious. <music> of baby back ribs, a rack of baby back. This is about two and three quarters pound. This recipe works with anywhere between two and a half to three pounds of baby back ribs. So this is so simple. I mean, guys, I've just got a package of Pin Valley Ranch salad dressing and seasoning mix here. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this over, over the meat, press it in. Don't forget the backside. Hey I'm gonna flip it. The majority of it I'm putting on the meat side though because that's the part we're gonna eat. We're gonna eat the meat. Good, and then to get this to fit into my slow cooker, I'm just gonna cut it in about half. It's kind of easier to see where to cut between the ribs if you flip it over and cut, cut from the back. Put them upright, leaning against each other with the bone side in and the meat side out. And to me, this gives you a, sort of a better like crust on the outside. We're just gonna cut this into slices and then kind of press them into the meat and they'll stick. And then as this cooks, the seasoning mix kind of makes a crust and the jalapenos like cook into the meat so that when you're done, you have these delicious tender pork ribs with occasional little spicy bites of jalapeno. It's really, really tasty. Once your jalapenos are stuck on there, we're just gonna close the lid and cook it on high for about three hours. It takes three hours in my slow cooker. It might take up to three and a half, depending on your, your model of your slow cooker. But I'll see you back in about three hours. Okie dokie, Smokey, it has been three hours, so we can turn the slow cooker off. So the ribs, you can see, are really tender. I'm able to like bend them easily, but they're not falling off the bone. I feel like people use that phrase a lot, but that is actually a little bit overcooked. Put it on a baking sheet. Of course, you could eat them right now. They smell amazing. But I'm gonna put them under the broiler for a few minutes just to get a little bit of a brown crusty on them. Just get a little bit of these juices and pour it over the top before we broil. Okay, so just five minutes in the broiler is all it takes and they've got this nice little crust on top. I love this recipe because if you're like me and you don't really like sweet meat and like barbecue sauce, like sweet sauces, this is a great alternative to a typical barbecue ribs because it's just savory and meaty and it's not like sticky. So it's a little bit neater to eat in your living room in front of the TV. Mmm. Oh my God. These are so, so incredibly perfect and simple. Once in a while, you get that nice bite of jalapeno pepper in there. 
just to perk you up, make sure that you're still awake after all those beers you drank. For more party and game day recipes, head on over to hiddenvalley.com slash recipe. And as always, all of my recipes are available at highlycooking.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you all have a great game day. Bye!